Hey everyone, this is Mihail, and today I'll be showing you another great website I built in PHP. We all know how difficult it is to compare two phones. You're given tons of information about their specs, and you need to figure out what's relevant to you. This website is my first attempt to help you with this comparison. So let me show you how it works. Let's start with the opening page. It's pretty much bootstrap styling with an awesome logo that I devised in a moment of artistic brilliance. You will also notice there's a counter near the bottom of the page. I basically created a table in my sequel whose only purpose is to count the number of times this button here has been clicked. I'll click on it now to go to the exciting stuff and I'll talk about the feedback button later. The comparison process on this website is made up of two steps. The first one is to select how important each of the following 10 phone features is to you. Price, camera, performance, modernity, internet speed, battery, resolution, storage, size, and brand. You'll see some very useful tooltips like this one um, or this one. Okay, maybe not. How about this one? Yes, there you go. By the way, I developed this amazing slider using the Bootstrap Slider JavaScript and CSS plugin. Okay, a couple more points. When it comes to size, you can select whether you want small, medium, or large. The tooltip will indicate what each of them is equivalent to. Finally, at the brand question, you can type in a part of the brand's name to get a drop down with suggestions. Say in this case, we'll go for Apple. This one was a little tricky to develop. I needed to use the type ahead jQuery plugin to get the dropdown. And the source of the suggestions is a third party API called Phono API, which is freely available to the public. Its database not only has brand names, but also a wide range of specifications on individual mobile phones, which I will be leveraging later on. All right, so once I've answered all these questions, it is time to move on to the second step of the comparison process, which is to select the mobile devices I'm comparing. This is pretty straightforward. You start typing in the name of the phone and you select it from the dropdown. One example in this case will be Apple iPhone 7. And let's compare it against Samsung Galaxy S8. As with the brand input in the previous page, I have a type ahead jQuery call linked to the phone API API. Um, Funny how that sounds. I then click on the see results button. And wait for it. Voila! The website advises me which of the two phones is better suited for my needs. You'll then see below a comparison by the 10 attributes from the questionnaire, which basically forms the basis of the recommendation. It looks like Samsung was a clear winner in this case. All the phone specs are pulled from Phono API. The price on the other hand is obtained from Amazon using a web scraper I built on my own. Some features like the price and modernity are very easy to compare. 
Others were quite tricky, with the performance attribute being a prime example. To assess CPU, I created a regular expressions parser, which looks at whether the unit of measurement is in megahertz or gigahertz. And then also checks whether there are multiple cores, like quad core or octa core. The result of each of these assessments is then given a weighting based on our answers in the questionnaire page to reach the final recommendation. So that is all about the main functionality. Now on to a few smaller pieces. You'll notice a couple buttons appearing in the top section of the page now, right before the feedback button. These buttons enable you to revisit the two steps in the comparison process in order to update the final recommendation. Say, for instance, you only want to change your preferences. You go, you click here. And then say you actually value camera a lot. And price not that much. Maybe also modernity. Let's say it's important. And brand is even more important. Okay, so now, you, now that you've changed your answers, you can go straight to the results as the website remembers the phones you selected. Fortunately, Samsung is still a winner. You can also change the phones without having to answer the questionnaire all over again. Let's say this time you want to go for, I don't know, Apple iPhone 6, maybe an older version. And let's make it fun. Samsung Galaxy S4. And again, you click the see results button without having to answer the questionnaire all over again. The website will remember all your answers. Ah, Samsung still a winner. Finally, the feedback button. When clicked, it will send you to another page which has a form you can submit. Say chicken, egg at outlook.com. This website is amazing. Once you click submit, the form is registered in the MySQL database, which I can then have a look at. So that is the end of my presentation of the website. As usual, I have included in the comments section a link to get her page which stores all of the code. So thanks very much for watching and hope you found this interesting.